Hi everybody, welcome to Pokemon Mashups, episode 11. Today I'm going to do something a little bit different. Normally I uh, like to take suggestions from the comments and draw a mashup between a Pokemon and a character from something else. But today I'm working on a challenge set forth by Jazza for November 2016 to draw a mashup of two of the original 150 Pokemon. And so I went with Psyduck and Growlithe. Kind of like a Psyduck because he's just got the... <laughs> silly derpy face that I think I'd kind of like to put on everything and uh, Growlithe who's a little bit more of a badass but still kind of cute. Actually you know what I think I am going to put Psyduck's face on everything. Ah, alright, glad I got that in my system. Okay, so just gonna add some cell shading now to Psyduck. Uh, kind of a similar pose to what he's set up with, but um, uh, you can at least get some basic cell shading done with uh, Flash pretty easily. As soon as you get into uh, blurring things around, you need something more like Photoshop, so... Um, eh, hold off on that for now. Going to draw up Growlithe in sort of a more disgusted and confused sort of expression because the uh, amalgamation of these two is going to be <laughs> something pretty funny. Let's see here. Uh, okay, so just using the usual method of uh, paint fill and then inking the outside. Uh, the mouth and face exp the uh, facial expression on this one was a little bit more challenging. I think I kind of diverted to a little bit of a Disney style rather than the actual anime. Um, I do like the... Uh, uh, the eyes to be both visible in uh, three-quarter views, so uh, modifying this up a little bit. I do like the way they do the eyes, but uh, as far as eye direction in uh, a lot of the shows that I work on, um, we like to put the highlights on the uh, opposite direction of where the eyes looking, because that kind of leads where it's uh, looking and shows that off a little bit better. The sky has a little bit of d extra detail here with the um, patterns on him. Uh, oddly enough, he only has uh, two toes from the reference that I got to, because uh, it kind of indicated that the points of the um, designs would land between the two. Alright, here we go with the actual thing. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> ah, so, yeah, uh, sort of split the difference in the uh, paws, where his uh, fingers are a little bit more split off, sort of like the uh, duck webbing, but still gave him the claws. Uh, going back here to Growlithe to just clean things up a little bit more. Ah, there we go. Hmm. Oh, right, so like I mentioned, this is for Jazza, and if you check out my tutorial series at all, I'll actually uh, reference uh, Jazza and Psychra are my two favorite uh, other tutorial channels, because I, I haven't made too many tutorials, but uh, wherever I'm missing info, they usually can fill in the gaps, so... Definitely check them out. Hmm. Really should check up on Jazza's challenges more often. It was actually a friend of mine who uh, mentioned that they had this thing going. This uh, mashup challenge. It's pretty cool. There's some pretty neat prizes available. Uh, if you win, like, a year subscription to Adobe Flash products, which is super nice. He also has great, like, tutorial ebooks and uh, has a physical book now. So definitely check that out. I'll definitely leave a link to Jazza down in the description. <laughs> Alright, since he's always got that dirt face, I figured in I'd uh, add in a nice big drool puddle. Sorry, got some construction going on outside. Alrighty, I think I'll skip uh, filling in the shades because that can get a little bit disorienting, but here's the pattern that I'm going to use for uh, filling out the shades. Alright, now here's the finished thing. Um, and if you have uh, any suggestions for additional mashups, I'll definitely be getting back to that for uh, next episode, so just feel free to write those in the comments. Oh, and please like and subscribe. <coughs>